devoted chosen. Such misplaced zeal, their eyes remain closed to the true path. Not like you. Welcome back to another WoW gold making video. Today we will discuss four farm spots and are they worth still doing? And we call this our versus series, something I've done in the past. But before we get into that, make sure to hit that subscribe button, hit that bell button to get notified when I release my new content and all the juicy go guides. The first on Dark is going to be Heart of Fear versus Firelands. Now these two are actually pretty fun to do, but I will say there's a cap at 23 minutes if not less on Heart of Fear because it will cap you out at 10 runs. Now Firelands, you can do a whole hour run on this and you can actually still be going on without getting capped out. Now I do want to say this is going to be based off a 30 minute period. Heart of Fear is going to be 23. And here's the graph guys. I hope you enjoy this. It's something different I'm doing. So I will say right now within the 23 minute period of a Heart of Fear I got 18,193 auction house gold and I got 1,293 raw gold with 97 spirit of harmonies. Now that is not too bad but I will say right now the raw gold is going to be at least 1,293 like I said but per hour. And the reason why I say it like that is because when you get locked out you cannot do anything else other than go do stuff outside. Now I will say right now Firelands is way better when it comes to actually being able to do per hour per 30 minutes. It's actually going to give you about 93,294 auction house gold with 2,062 raw gold but it will set you back about 1,400 depending on your server whether and it comes to using the potion of treasure finding. Remember guys you got to take that from your total. So in reality if you're spending an hour doing this you're going to get about 4,000 of Firelands which is going to make it about 3,000 at the minimum or actually that the max you'll get depending on your basically your auction house when it comes to potion of treasure finding and which is outright beating heart of fear when it comes to raw gold i will say an auction house value is still going to go to firelands but to be honest with you i would say right now that it depends on your auction house when it comes to auctions because the reason why i say that is because heart of fear drops some cool stuff that could be worth but most of it is just repetitive and i will say right now firelands is the same way but you can actually get a lot of hypnotic dust from the greens which is going to make bags with ember silk if you're running as a clothy i do want to say right now the best thing to do with firelands is always have that potion of treasure finding going because you're going to get 51 tiny chests per 30 minutes which is not bad so in all in all i'm going to say right now and some might not like it but firelands is going to outright beat heart of fear in this match so let me know guys what you thought and what you would actually pick if you were going against these two but honestly i say if you're going to spend your time go do firelands because you're going to get extra stuff and if you're or coffee you're gonna get a little bit more too as well so let's move on to the next subject all right guys in round two is gonna be iron docks versus razor friend crawl these two are actually pretty fun to do iron docks is actually gonna be a beast when it comes to raw gold and razor fin crawl is gonna be a beast when it comes to auction house gold and the reason why i say that is because you can get drops that go anywhere from 20k to almost 150k and they are worth that now let's actually cover iron docks iron docks is gonna be pretty fast when it comes to anybody can do this anybody who's max level can just wreck this even at level 110 you could do this too as well is just plainly easy now i do want to say right now that you're going to get about 2008 raw gold just from the iron docks 30 minute runs you're going to get about 108,582 auction house gold which is not the true value is that's going to be inflated guys i would suggest you not go by the auction house values just look them up on your realm and maybe just look up on a basically undermine journal undermine journal is one of the best sites out there to compare prices and i will say right now tsm is amazing too as well so just check it out it will be in the description i do want to say when it it comes to Razor Fin Crawl is actually going to be 54,417 auction house gold with a 240 raw gold, which a raw gold it is trash. But I will say right now that 54,417 as auction house gold is just plainly amazing. And this is something that you need to look at because these are items that will sell. Don't get me wrong, some of them won't sell, some of them will. Now, if you get a lucky and get one of those high end drops, you're going to get this higher than that. But if I had to put it, if I had to put all the way around what is the best for your value, I'm going to tell you right now. It's going to be based off raw gold, okay? That's going to be iron docks because you're looking at about 4,016 raw gold. And as you're looking at about 54,000 plus auction house when it comes to razor fin, I was going to put it as iron docks one, but I'm going to say right now, depending on what kind of farmer you are, I would suggest you just look at your outcomes. If you're a good seller, if you know how to sell T-Mog and you don't have problems, go with razor fin crawl. But if you're not good at that and you hate the fact that t -Mog is even a thing to sell like that, go to Iron Docks. So I'm going to say right now, even though this is my first series back, it's going to be a draw on these. I want to let y'all 
guys decide who won this. Do you think the Iron Dock should win it because per hour is a 4,000 raw gold farm? Or do you think Razor Friend Crawl won because, you know what, you can get that major fat loots off of the bosses, or actually not really off the bosses, more about the mobs, and you can sell it on Auction House? Let me know in the comments below. Now, I do want to say there's another farm that I wanted to check out, and it's something that I didn't add it in this Versus series, and that's going to be Island of the Watchers. You're going to get about 48,475 Auction House gold with 2,535 raw gold per 30 minutes. This is something that you're going to want to do with the group. I showed you this farm about two years ago or so. I was the first one who showed you this, and this was something that I think a lot of people loved. And to this day, it holds this name. You're going to get about almost 5,000 per hour raw gold, which is not bad at all. This actually contends with a broken shore spot I showed you a weeks back. Now, that said, the auction house gold will not be there if you actually just get rid of every single green you got. So you would have to scratch out either the auction house or the raw. But I suggest you just scratch out the auction house because these don't sell as much as you would think. Now, with that said, guys, let me know in the comments below what you thought about this video. Do you like the Versus series? Something that I, hey, you know what? Can you check out this spot? Can you check out that spot and go head to head and see who wins with Raw and actually Auction House? Let me know in the comments if you want me to add any more data to this. I will add as much as I can because I enjoy doing these videos. And it's something fun I actually did a long time ago that I kind of stopped. I don't know why I didn't, but I'm bringing back the series. It's called Versus series. I will have a playlist in the future of every single Versus series I had in the past, plus the new ones that are coming out. And I want to say thank you so much to all my patrons out there y'all guys went the extra mile and if it wasn't for y'all i probably wouldn't do as much as i usually do because i gotta remember guys i don't make no money out of this but patrons who actually put out there and you know so forth you know they help me push a little bit more and honestly it's so much fun doing these videos i want to do so much more but you know what? without your support i can't guys so if you want to check out that patreon link it's in the description we have so much coming remember we're giving a long boy away to my patrons of queen and king so basically if you're one of those and you have a chance to win one of those <laughs> right now there's one person so if you want to come out and check that out guys go check it out but anyways guys i will say right now we got a lot of benefits from our patrons we got packages pets mounts gold everything just stuff to appreciate my patrons every month so with that said guys if you enjoyed my content you want to hit that extra button or you know that extra mile go check it out in the description but like always if you like this video please like subscribe and comment and stay stashy